Welcome to Literature Podcast with Susan. Please subscribe for more literature reviews. Welcome to another episode of the Literature Podcast. I'm your host, Susan, and today we're diving into a children's Bible by Lydia Millet, a novel that masterfully blends elements of environmentalism, generational conflict, and biblical allegory. A children's Bible begins as a seemingly straightforward story about a group of families vacationing at a large summer house. Among them are a group of children and teenagers, somewhat neglected and left to their own devices while their parents indulge in nostalgic revelry. The setting is idyllic, but the narrative quickly takes on a more serious tone as Millet weaves in themes of environmental decay and societal apathy. Millet's portrayal of the children, particularly the protagonist, Eve, is strikingly vivid. They are portrayed not as mere appendages to their parents, but as fully realized characters, complete with their own perspectives, fears, and desires. The children's growing disillusionment with their parents' apparent indifference to the wider world's problems is a central theme. Through their eyes, Millet critiques the older generation's failure to address pressing environmental issues, portraying a world on the brink of ecological disaster. The novel takes a dramatic turn when a cataclysmic storm hits, turning the children's world upside down. This event becomes a catalyst for a deeper exploration of themes such as survival, responsibility, and the loss of innocence. The children, thrust into a situation that requires them to fend for themselves, embody a mix of resilience, ingenuity, and the longing for guidance in a world where the adults have seemingly abdicated their roles. Millet's narrative style is both poetic and piercing, with a subtlety that belies the story's profound themes. She uses the backdrop of environmental catastrophe to delve into the dynamics of family, the complexities of growing up, and the challenging transition from childhood to adulthood. The biblical references, particularly the allusion to Noah's Ark, are skillfully interwoven, enriching the narrative with layers of meaning and inviting readers to ponder deeper philosophical and ethical questions. As we progress through a children's Bible, we are invited to reflect on the impact of human actions on the environment, the legacy left for future generations, and the moral responsibilities that come with it. The novel is as much a coming-of-age tale as it is a commentary on contemporary society's struggles with climate change and generational divides. Continuing our exploration of Lydia Millet's A Children's Bible, we delve deeper into the novel's rich tapestry of themes and allegories, which resonate powerfully in our contemporary world. As the story progresses, the aftermath of the storm brings a profound shift in the lives of the children. Stripped of their familiar comforts and forced to confront the harsh realities of a world in disarray, they embark on a journey that is both physical and metaphorical. This journey starkly contrasts with the carefree and protected existence they previously led, symbolizing a forced coming of age propelled by environmental catastrophe. Millet brilliantly uses this backdrop to explore the concept of legacy and inheritance. The children, disillusioned by their parents' apathy and irresponsibility towards the world they are inheriting, find themselves grappling with feelings of betrayal and abandonment. This generational disconnect is a poignant commentary on the real-world anxieties faced by young people today, particularly in relation to climate change and environmental degradation. Eve's journey is emblematic of a search for meaning and purpose in a world that seems to be spiraling towards irreversible change. The biblical allegories become more pronounced as the novel unfolds. References to stories from the Bible, reinterpreted through the experiences of the children, serve as a powerful narrative device. These allusions are not mere retellings, but are imbued with new significance in the context of the novel's themes. The story of Noah's Ark, for instance, is transformed into a symbol of survival and renewal in the face of overwhelming destruction. 
One of the novel's most striking aspects is its ability to balance despair with a sense of hope. Despite the grim circumstances and the seemingly insurmountable challenges they face, the children demonstrate resilience, ingenuity, and a capacity for finding joy and wonder in the midst of chaos. Their bond, strengthened by shared adversity, offers a glimmer of hope for the future. A children's Bible also challenges the reader to consider the ethical implications of our actions and the responsibilities we hold towards future generations. Millet raises critical questions about stewardship, the morale obligations of parenthood, and the kind of world we wish to leave behind. As we approach the concluding part of our discussion on A Children's Bible, the novel stands as a poignant and thought provoking exploration of environmental crisis, generational conflict, and the enduring quest for meaning in a rapidly changing world. Join me, Susan, in the next segment, where we will reflect on the concluding chapters of Lydia Millet's profound and evocative work. Stay tuned as we further unravel the significance of this compelling narrative and its implications for our understanding of legacy, responsibility, and hope. Charged. In the concluding chapters of Lydia Millet's A Children's Bible, the narrative reaches a poignant and thought, provoking climax, bringing together its themes of environmental crisis, generational responsibility, and the quest for meaning in a world of uncertainty and change. As the story draws to a close, the children, who have been thrust into a position of independence and responsibility far beyond their years, confront the realities of their new world. The novel doesn't offer a simple resolution. Instead, it presents a landscape altered irrevocably by environmental catastrophe, where the characters must navigate the complexities of survival and moral decision-making. The conclusion of A Children's Bible is as much about the endurance of hope and the human spirit as it is about the consequences of neglect and apathy towards our planet. Millet masterfully balances the bleak realities of environmental degradation with a cautious optimism. The resilience and adaptability shown by the children serve as a counterpoint to the despair and denial exhibited by the adults. This contrast underscores a central message of the novel, the importance of action and stewardship in the face of environmental challenges. One of the most compelling aspects of the novel's end is the transformation seen in the young characters. They emerge not merely as survivors of a disaster, but as emblematic figures of a new consciousness, embodying a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of life and the environment. Their journey is a testament to the potential for change and adaptation, even in the direst circumstances. Millet's allegorical use of biblical narratives reaches its zenith in these final chapters. The reimagining of these ancient stories within a contemporary context provides a powerful commentary on the timeless themes of human folly, redemption, and the search for a promised land of peace and stability. In its conclusion, a children's Bible leaves the reader with much to ponder. It is a narrative that challenges us to reflect on our role in shaping the future of our planet, the legacy we leave for the next generation, and the moral imperatives of our time. The novel is a clarion call for awareness and action, wrapped in a deeply moving and beautifully written story. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Lydia Millet's A Children's Bible. This novel, with its profound themes and captivating storytelling, serves as a mirror reflecting our current struggles with climate change, generational divides, and the search for meaning in an ever-changing world. Join me, Susan, next time on The Literature Podcast as we dive into another literary world seeking understanding, enlightenment, and the joy of reading. Until then, may your journey through the pages of literature bring you insight reflection, and inspiration. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and see you in next episodes.